I always tell, I always say this in my videos, uh, that we are not here to convince anybody to sell their house. We are <laughs> here to offer them options. Absolutely. That is it. Absolutely. Okay. We're, we're so, not convincers. We're not. So I heard uh, Brent Daniels say, we're not deal creators, we're deal finders. So um, Section 8 clients, uh, do you get like a list of people? My name is Eileen and um, I just recently. Okay. Okay. Um, so think about your workflow. Again, you I don't know how to do it. know how to do it and, and I'm trying to instruct other people to to do better in their business but I also have to do better in my business hey everyone out there in YouTube land listen this and Facebook and Facebook how you guys doing today um, my name's Randy Steadwell. If you haven't been with us before, uh, we have a gentleman named Johnny Stewart the uh, third. <laughs> he is a gentleman that we have uh, that I've connected with through networking, and somebody else put us together. And he is a wholesaler in the Nashville, Tennessee market. I'll come up anyways. Uh, so with that being said, he is actually a guy that went from uh, being a college student, an athlete, and instead of trying to get a nine to five, he went straight into wholesaling. And he is, is remarkable. We're going to tell his story here. Um, so without further ado, also put your questions in the comments so we can answer them live. All right. Without further ado, Johnny, how you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm excited to be on. Really excited. Thank you for this opportunity. I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem at all. So I'm. We're very happy to have you. Um, so tell me a little bit about um, how you got started. Like, where did even the words or wholesaling come from from you? How did you know about it? What did you do? Uh, tell me everything that you know. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of a crazy story how I got into real estate. I actually got my finance degree and I had, was expected to take over a wealth management firm. That was kind of my out the, mm -hmm. out the gate. That's what I wanted to do, uh, work under one guy and just take over his business when he retired. I had a okay. massive injury that kind of shifted everything. And I got to the point where I was like, you know, I, I really don't want to work for somebody else. So in that year long of just recovering, uh, I watched a whole lot of YouTube and I didn't know which area I wanted to go. And I didn't even know if real estate was something that I wanted to do. I just watched a whole lot of YouTube. Like, hey, how do, how do you make money? Right. And wholesaling presented itself over the, the thousands of options. And I was like, you know, I love helping people. I love talking to people. And I always told myself I wanted to get in real estate one day. So I okay. just watched about a week of, of YouTube videos, wholesaling, and then I just started picking up the phone and calling people. Got it. Okay. So with that, like you said, you watched a lot of YouTube videos. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So how did, how did that come about as far as did did you say, oh, I need, I want to make $10,000. Did you think that this was going to be full time? Like yeah. a lot of people's like, oh, I'm going to make $10,000 in, 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 in like two days or one yeah. day or yeah. whatever. Like all the clickbait says, oh, you make $10,000 real quick. Right. And that's what drew me in. So I started yeah. looking at it and did I know I was going to be full time as a wholesaler? Absolutely not. But I knew that I wanted to make money and I wanted to create a name for myself and a business for myself. And I knew that this would probably be the way that you can get into real estate with no money down. So I got into it thinking, oh, it would probably just take me a month to get a deal. And that would be it. And it took uh, you know multiple months to get a deal and to actually <laughs> learn. So, you know, that whole that whole thing of, oh, you get $10,000 and 
30 yep. days, make two phone calls, you got somebody. That's just not the case. And I learned that very quickly that that wasn't wasn't the plan. So I kind of, you know, understood real estate and understood the long game. So I was like, this is what I want to do. This is the best thing that I can do to help me learn. So I definitely took some time <laughs> for real. How long did it take you to get your first deal? So I like to break it up, right? I, technically, okay. it took me about seven months. And uh, okay. I started my LLC in June of 2022. And I was okay. still in college until that December. So that that okay. gap right there, I was, I was you know, part time. I made maybe two or three phone calls a day, but really didn't take it seriously. As soon as I okay. graduated, I was like, you know, I'm hitting the ground running and this is what I want to do. So it took me until early February, late January, early February, February for my first deal to actually close and I get a check. So uh, I, it, it was really like seven, eight months. But I like to say, oh, the two months I took it seriously, I, I finally hammered in something. OK. All right. So uh, what what is your what was your strategy in the beginning? Was it all cold calling? Did you. Yeah. OK. Yeah. What list were you going after? Your were cold you calling different ones. When I first started, I was trying everything under the sun. And I think that was okay. my biggest problem when I first started. I was calling absentees for a day, then switching over to vacants and then tax liens. And then I would dabble in foreclosure sometimes. I was just all over the map and I was just doing cold calling. I just started, didn't have any marketing budget. And I was literally punching in the numbers on my cell phone and giving them a call. So that was my whole strategy when I first started. And I've mm -hmm. since switched to kind of hone what I like and what I'm good at down. And that's how I was able to get my first deal. And so what is that that you're that you honed in? Foreclosures. Foreclosures. Oh, okay. I got to the point. I, I used to watch a lot of Pace Morby. I'm sure you've heard his yep. name before. I watched a lot of them. And the thing was, if you want your first deal, go after pre-foreclosures. So I just started mm -hmm. going after them. It's funny. I typed into Google. I'm like, foreclosures in Tennessee. And I sifted through like 50 Google pages. So I finally found a site that is updated daily that has all the notices for the state of Tennessee. So I started okay. just hand making the list every morning, hand making a list, hand making a <laughs> list, skip tracing them by hand using the, the fast people search for free, building a list. So it would take hours to build that list, but it mm -hmm. turned out to be actually a pretty good list because that's how I've gotten one deal, two deals, three deals. That's how I got a lot of my beginning deals. Okay. Now you're not still doing it that way, are you? <laughs> I am. Um, but see, I'm, I'm smart now. So I've put some of my friends, some of my friends are doing it that way and they're building the list for me and I'm just making the calls. So at first it was okay. me, but I've put, I've put my friends in place to, to be able to do it now. Are you, are you paying your friends to do it? Yeah. I'm giving them a hundred bucks for every 300. So I'm not paying them a lot, but, um, they're, they're getting something in there involved too. So it, it it's a win-win okay. for both. All right. So I need to talk to you about hiring a VA to do that, that type of work. Cause Absolutely. that, that right there will save you a lot of time. You hire somebody from overseas, you pay them five bucks an hour. Yeah. You show them what you're doing, what to do, and they'll create that for you. So especially if you're a, if you don't care about whether they're talking to people or not, and it's just yeah. mundane, busy stuff, yeah. it'll definitely help you. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll definitely talk about right. that. And that's, that's something <laughs> that, I, that I wanted to do and just haven't got around to it, honestly. Okay. Awesome. So with that, with that being said, it's uh, what do you contribute your first, uh, your first deal to, was it the pre foreclosures or was it something else? Yeah. Pre foreclosures. That was, that's every deal that I've gotten under contract myself has been yep. a pre foreclosure. I've JV'd okay. other ones, but everything that I've done myself have all been pre foreclosures and all have come from that, that public notice list that I was talking about. Awesome. So what do you, you JV as well? Yes, I do. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, tell me how it works when, when you JV with somebody, do you go out looking for somebody to JV with? So actually I don't, I've built um, enough following and enough people. I've networked with a lot of people that when they get a deal, they just bring it to me like, Hey, do you mind if we 
if we just move this. And I know a lot of mm -hmm. buyers in the state of Tennessee, so I just send it over to them, and we can typically get get a, get that assigned. I've done five of those where it's just like, hey, here's you know here's my deal. Here's I got it mm -hmm. under contract, and I just bring a buyer to the table. Yeah, I, I really like JB because it's just a very very simple process so far. <laughs> So far, yeah. I do a lot of JVing myself because uh, mm -hmm. um, we have the Facebook group and I do have quite a bit uh, of a buyer's list for our area. So awesome. um, now Johnny Stewart has a question. What's the best approach to speaking with potential clients? Now, Johnny, let me know if you're talking about potential buyers or potential sellers. If you can leave a comment, that'd be great. But either way, what do you, what's your take on that? I think the best way is to just get out there and do it. There's no one way, one like one uh, shoe fits all type of approach. You just have to be yourself. So just get out yep. there, have the conversation with that person, and just be genuine. Being genuine and having that conversation and allow it to flow naturally is the best advice that I could give anybody first starting out. Just pick up that phone and have a conversation. It's a person just like you are, just how you would yep. talk to anybody any other day. That's You have another person on the phone. Just have that conversation. There's no one rule that fits everybody. Awesome. Yeah, he he, he replied back with saying sellers. So um, I completely agree with you. In my opinion, you got to be yourself because if you're not yourself and being authentic, then they're gonna it's gonna show, one hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. So it, the biggest thing is is find out the information, talk to them like another person. Hey, would you be interested in selling? If yes. Okay, great. If no, okay, that's perfectly fine too. Tell yeah. them what you do and move on. You know, exactly. um, I always tell, I always say this in my videos uh, that we are not here to convince anybody to sell their house. We are <laughs> here to offer them options. Absolutely. That is it. Absolutely. Okay. We are, we're so, not convincers. We're not. So I heard uh, Brent Daniels say, we're not deal creators, we're deal finders. So we're that not taking somebody's situation and trying to create a deal out of it. We're just picking up the phone, seeing if you want a solution and we can be that solution for you. Yeah, I was actually just watching them just before here, before we joined, I was just watching them on uh, Wholesale Hotline. So yeah, it, that, yeah. that was live. <laughs> yeah. So, but uh, yeah, 100%, I I 100% agree with that. Um, there was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Damn, what a hell of a view I 